Hi everyone, welcome to Code with Yosef channel. In this video, we will create the class diagram for online shopping. So let's start before starting, subscribe our YouTube channel. So a class diagram uh, illustrate the structure of classes and their relationships. So now let's start the creating the classes. First of all, let's drag a class. Uh, in online shopping center, first of all, uh, this class will be for customer. Yeah, first let's write the attributes of class. Uh, here, uh, some if we write minus sign, it means that it is a private. If we write plus sign, it means it is a public. Okay. So let's write customer ID. It is int type customer name. It is string with us. customer phone string with us I will write the attributes yeah I wrote the attributes now let's write the functions for customer class first function it is a public register customer and also update so yes we have created the customer class now let's create the product class ID name of the product So description string and let's create the function for product class update we can update it add to cart So it is the product class with us. So the customer can view products. It has the relationships. So let's create it. View. And also it is one to money. Okay. The customer can view more products so we have created this relationship one to money it means that the customer should see one or more products so now let's create another uh, class so let's take that it will be order with us so let's write the attribute of this id which is end with us order ID a unique ID for order also a customer ID so now let's write the function add and view these are the functions for order class So a customer can place an order. So let's make this relationship. So let's create the relationship. And take it here. Yeah, one to money. It means that a customer may have zero or more order orders, and the order must be related to one customer. 
Yeah, so now let's create the relationship between order and products. In an order, there are products. So let's create this relationship. Uh, in an order, there are there must be one or more product. And the product may be in an order or not. So now let's add another class. So let's drag a class. Uh, it will be category for products. And let's add the attributes. string and also add will be a function and also view will be a function let's drag it here and make the relationship between product and category so let's yes in in a category there are many products and also a product must be in a category So now let's another create another class. Yes, it will be the cart cart class with us, and also it just has the ID and customer. ID and also product ID it will be int it is also int and let's add the function uh, update view so it is a cla card class with us so let's make the relationship between customer and cart customer can one to one a customer has one card and one card related to one customer so now let's create another class this will be the admin class with us and admin id and also email and uh, what the admin can do the yeah, admin can view and also can update manage can manage the means delete update and view confirm delivery can do these all things in admin In admin can manage the products let's make this relationship
manage the product and let's create the relationship let's make another class which is payment with us it has the customer id car type customer make make payment or do payment So it was a general um, class diagram. You can add more classes like return address, return order, and make the relationship with order and also feedback or rate review for the product and many and many classes based on your requirement. So it was a general class diagram for online shopping. So if you have liked the video so please subscribe our youtube channel and share this video with friends thanks for watching